We're here in the wild lands of Mr. Pandaria in the Jade Forest. As Tanner and Bill wait anxiously to see when Groove will pop out and stalk his prey. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, Alright, that was a good start of the video. But, uh, <laughs> hello, everyone. <laughs> and, Wigan, uh, if you haven't noticed, you can make pre made pandas now. Not pa monks. Pre made monks at 85. And we did that. And we're gonna be oh, talking, talking about them. This video. <laughs> you just eat this grass here. Slobber all over the land. Okay, alright, nope, we're not gonna have any of that. I don't think so. <laughs> alright, and each of us are um, a different spec. I'm a tank, Grove's a DPS, and Tanner is healing. And we'll just be you know, talking about the abilities and you know, just showing them off a little bit. And what? I guess, get right into it though. Who am I gonna duel? A little Tanner. She got healing abilities. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Okay, first things first, nothing's really changed. You have like your main move to get chi. I'm not gonna kill you, so just get some chi. Um, then I got my, like always, my tiger palm. Bap. Now, as a tank, you you had this, this is a low level ability. You've probably seen it before in other videos, but I can breathe fire. Which, it just, it, uh, daze, it, damage is multiplied by the number of dizzying haze stacks on the target. I, f I'm, I forget what causes dizzying haze. What? Oh, oh yeah, that's my keg ability. Yeah, I forgot. So I can like, I can stack it up on you like that, and I'll use my genius cider to get all my my stuff back. Sorry. My chi, and then fire. I mean, I did like 20k on you, but I mean, it's still good. So I mean, it's a real nice ability. I only use this two chi, so I mean, that's up a lot. Uh, let's get some chi back real quick. And now I have this another talent, Charging Ox Wave. Um, I'm not really going to explain these ones. Like, if you want to know more about the talents and such, we talked about them in our previous Monk video, so you can check them out. This will send a, like an Ox at you that like pushes you back. They've done multiple times. <laughs> kind of overpowered that I can keep doing that. Alright, um, then here's the new Kraken Jade Lightning. It's like Sith Lightning. Pretty much. Here, come up and attack me, Tanner. Melee attack me. If it works. I think it's only a chance when, like... Come on, come on, come on, come Alright, he should be getting knocked back. No, stop. Yeah. Uh, if an enemy attacks you within melee range while a victim, the crack... Wait. While victim to Crackling Jade Lightning, they are knocked back a short distance. But that didn't happen. I guess it's probably a, probably a bug. Alright. Uh, I don't know if this works. Try to... I'm putting on my Ring of Peace, and you shouldn't be able to attack me. Try to... Uh, can you attack me? See, uh, that's that's not... doesn't work at all yet. Alright. Um, and as a, a DPS and tanks both use, like brews like alcohol has like buffs and stuff like i can do f everyone has this but it's fortifying brew that it doubles your health but you cannot be healed and it lasts 20 seconds so if i pop that i now have 318k health which is uh, like a nice cooldown and such and as you can see that st statue that group put down people have statues now uh each spec has like a unique one i do he does what's yours the white tiger statue and mine's yeah, the black ox tiger. Yeah, and I can click. People who click the black ox get my guard ability on them, and guard it absorbs. It's a it's basically uh, like a priest shield. Now they all, and, uh, all the statues look the same right now. I'm assuming that's gonna change. Yeah, it's gonna change definitely. Cause mine's supposed to look like an ox. So, like yours yeah. is like, you're right. Yours is probably gonna stay mm -hmm. that way. Uh, yeah. And I uh, other brews I have. Um, staggering is an effect. I'm pretty sure I talked about it in the earlier video. Is like as a tank, there's a chance when I'm attacked that damage will be cut like down the middle, and I'll take half of it like right there and there to another half over time. Like I'll stagger it over time. But say that's happening, and I want to get rid of the staggered damage I'm taking, I use purifying brew, and it takes away that uh, damage that's being caused. 
And then uh, that's another tank cooldown. This is only a 45 second cooldown. Tanner, you start attacking me. It increases my chance to dodge by 50%, which is a lot. Yeah, Tanner's like not hitting me at all. <laughs> which is nice. And then, of course, I have Guard, which I it's my Priest Bubble. And um, any heals that I apply to myself when I have my own Guard up, I the, the heals are like increased by 34% actually. That bubble is very faint. Like, you can barely tell it's on you. Yeah, yeah it's kind of, it's just like the priest bubble, right? The chi back. Um, yeah, but like, the priest bubble is like, it glows and stuff. Like, you can see it like, really good. That's like, yeah, it's like, it's hard to yeah. tell it's on you. They might need to change that, but yeah. Yeah. Well, um, this is an ability that everyone has. It's called meditation. Best spell effect in the game. Spell effect in the game. Ready for this? Ready for this? Bat. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's so... Oh. <laughs> it pretty much it reduces all damage. I'm being. I'm getting like. What I gotta complicate the spell tip. It reduces all damage taken by 99 percent, and re and say I have like a raid or a party around me, it re redirects all harmful spells that's being cast on them to me. So, and I already, I'm taking 99% less damage, so of course that's not going to hit me much. That's going to be really nice in raids when like a DPS can pop that, or a healer, and have everything redirected to them. Uh, then I have Avert Harm, which will reduce the damage taken by all nearby friendly targets within 10 yards by 20%, and cause half of all remaining damage they take to be redirected to me. And it's cancelled if I get below 10% health. Uh, dematerial dematerialize <laughs> you escape your physical form uh, well it increases like it's a channel thing and it increases my chance to dodge by 100% in providing immunity against magic damage and harmful effects for 3 seconds just a nice little like simple you know cooldown uh, disable it's a, it's, a, it's a slow right yeah it slows them but I can stack it up and if it gets up to 3 they get uh, rooted in place a nice little like, pvp talent uh, paralyzed. Bap. And now he's paralyzed for a little bit. Uh, another favorite is Grapple Weapon. You fire off a rope spear, grappling the target's weapon and shield, returning them to you. Depending on the quality of the weapon, your damage done, healing done, and damage re reduction may be increased. Take, take that. Ah! Oh, give me that. <laughs> I don't really... It's <laughs> kind of messed up right now. Like, why? where is this dagger? Like, I got this dagger in my hand now. Like, where'd it come from? Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? And my shoulders were different. Like, it just doesn't even make sense. I don't, it's, it's weird. Um, well, this ain't really t But the AoE. Spinning crane kick. That's real nice. That's pretty much uh, all the tanking abilities, though. And uh, I should say mastery for tanks, for monks. Well, I guess mastery is really good for every class that's a tank, but it, it seems so good for this. Essentially, the more mastery you have... Yeah... You gonna say something? Or? I have healing spear. Why do I have healing spear? It's for all specs. Oh, okay, good. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Cause I was explaining like the staggered damage, like that staggered damage if my mastery's higher will actually be less. So I'll take that like half damage, and then I'll stagger even less of that damage like over time, which is real nice. That's pretty much the tank spec though. Uh, I'm gonna go next because you can heal up Tanner. We'll just get out. of I'll run away. That's Hold okay. Oh, uh, well. Oh, well, what that? I'm gonna beat, beat the piss out of you, but that works. <laughs> or not. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Jeez. It probably would have been faster if you would actually just attacked me and killed me. Oh, well. Probably. Can you just slash, uh, oh. design? Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Does that ever go away? 15 minute duration. You can right click. There's a thing under your porch that you can right click it off. Ah, okay. It didn't work. Okay. Uh, alright. Well, for the, uh, wind. Uh, sorry. For the wind walker, uh, specialization, the damage. Uh, let's get a new dual rotator. Uh, okay, well, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, like, what all of the same talents we have, so when you hear one that 
uh, you already did build, just stop me. Um, okay. First is just Bobber, which gets Chi. Um, second one is Blackout Kick. Um, it does more damage. You can only use it when targets are below 35% health. And if you kill them while using Blackout Kick, you get one Chi back. It costs two Chi. Or maybe it doesn't anymore. No, it costs no Chi now. Wow, okay. So it costs That's no for chi. a DPS only, I think. Because it costs two Chi Okay, yeah. Okay, that makes sense then. Um, so I can't do it unless I beat the crap out of Tanner, which I'm gonna do that then. Actually, I can't do it. Okay, that was- Wow, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, there's the blackout kick. Um, Bill went through Crackling Jade Lightning, Dematerialize. Did you do Charging Ox Wave? Well, it just, it just yeah. pushes him back. I mean, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Um, detox. Well, Tanner can go through detox. Uh, do you have disable? I don't think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did that. Yeah, I got to him in place. I said, yeah. Okay. Disable. Energizing brew. Just regenerate 60 energy over six seconds. Can only use in combat. Uh, that's what it looks like. Just a little thing. Uh, Expel harm. I think you have that too, right? Just heals heals yourself. Yeah, I didn't mention it though. Uh, expel harm instantly heals you for. Well, the numbers will change, but it causes 120 120 percent of the amount healed to be instantly dealt to a nearby enemy, which is pretty nice. Uh, within five yards. Uh, exploding jade blossom. It does physical damage to the first enemy target in front of you within 30 yards, and it roots them for two seconds. But, if it hits somebody further than 10 yards, the damage is increased by 10 or 50%. So, let's back up from Tanner. Let's do it. Ooh! Back. That's, that's kind of like charging ox wave. Well. Yeah. But, uh... Um, oh, my, one of my favorite moves. Fist of Fury. Requires three chi. Here it comes. Bap, 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 bap. Literally just beat wow, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much. Oh gosh, um, fortifying brew, you did that right. Yep, grapple weapon, you did that. Healing spear, uh, rising sun kick, uh, kicking upwards, attacking the enemy twice for 1066 weapon damage with a 30% chance to perform a third kick. So, here you go. Well, let me get Chi back. And here goes uh, Rising Sun. Pretty much. It looks the same as Blackout Kick, but I think Blackout Kick. Uh, Rushing Jade win. That's just a talent that you yeah. ever. No, he didn't go over that one. He didn't go over it? Okay, this is Rushing Jade win. I'm too far away. You have to think case a friendly target. So you have to use him on Bill. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay, there we go. Okay, I can't use that. I can't use it. Cannot use that here. Really? Oh, yeah, adult? I can't use it. it might be also yeah, because... Maybe, it's dual. maybe they didn't, what? like, actually put it in yet. You know what I mean? Because we were yeah. getting that one thing for well, Blackout Kick before, I think. Not Blackout Kick. Uh, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Well, that was well, that was a different reason. It's it's a talent. And all of it, all it does is it encases a friendly target and it whirling Jade Tornado... Uh, they become immune to all damage, and uh, they travel at a quick speed in a distance in front of you. Yeah. So you, you basically just like push them out of combat with being immune to damage. Uh, spear hand strike. I think you did this, Bill, because you can do it in Ox. Uh, I did not. Did not? Okay. Uh, I jab the target in the throat, <laughs> interrupting spell cast. So it's like a kick. Uh, and preventing any spell in that school from being cast for five seconds. Uh, if the enemy is facing you when you cast, uh, they also are silenced out of schools, out of all schools for five seconds. That's really nice for PvP. Yeah, that's a great interrupt. Yeah, I tell you, I put that on yeah. the bars. Um, spinning crane kick. Did you not do that? Did you, is that just? I did that. Okay. Um. Uh, of course, my statue. 
which I put way over there. <laughs> I can actually, I can actually put two down right now. So there's a statue, and whenever you click that, go ahead. Well, it increases your damage done by like fifteen percent for yeah, like for six, six seconds, seconds or whatever. Yeah. Um. Legacy of the White Tiger. Your honor with the White Tiger's legacy increased mastery by five. If target is in your party or raid, all party ma raid members are, are, uh, wow. I just butchered that. <laughs> if target is in your party or raid, all party and raid members will be affected. So it's basically like, uh, a buff. Pretty much. And it, it increases it's... your actual mastery rating, not like the... Yeah. Like, yeah, because, like, you know, some items you have, like, you know, 100 mastery, but not that, like, item mastery, but your actual mastery rating yeah, your, will go up yeah, by five. So there it is, right there. Um, did you do Legacy of the Emperor? Or is that just me? No. Uh, what's it should be it's all just of you, them. I think. Or is no. it? Uh, Legacy of the Emperor. Uh, you you extol the words of the last emperor. Is that what, you? You speak the words of the last emperor, increasing strength, agility, oh. and intellect by five percent. Yeah, that's our buff. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. That's why I figured you whatever that. Um. Jinyu Cider, it just increases, uh, gives me chi back. That's, is that a talent? No, it's not a talent. That's it's just talent. something everyone gets. Is it a talent? Okay. Yeah. Um, did meditation. Did you do provoke? Is that for you? Yeah, it's a taunt, but uh, I, I guess I, could, you, I couldn't use it on you guys, but essentially I taunt the target and it's, and they move 50% yeah. quicker. So the enemy will like rush at me. Uh, Quaking Palm, that's just passive, which puts him, to, or not passive, that's, uh, racial, puts him to sleep. Tiger Palm, uh, attacks with the palm of your hand, dealing physical damage. Uh, it deals 140 additional damage if the target is above 50% health. Bap. He parried it, that's nice. Um, <laughs> Tiger Eye Brew, uh, causes your Tiger Palm, Rising Sun Kick, and Blackout Kick to also hit two additional nearby enemies. Enemies within five yards when they deal damage for 20 seconds. So that's like into a into a fight or like a trash bowl. That's pretty nice. Um, and then touch of death costs four chi. You exploit the enemy's target, target's weak weakest points, instantly killing them. Only usable on non-player targets who have equal or lesser health, lesser health than you. So basically when someone's getting low, or uh, in like a raid or something, you do that, they have a chance to instantly die. Well, they do instantly die. Well, it's only like, no, it's like their max health has to be equal or like lesser than you, so you can't use it on anything on a raid, basically. Oh, I thought it meant like at that point in time it has to be less than you. I don't, I don't think, because... I, I guess I, yeah, I guess that could work, but like we're out, we'll have like... 200k health, you can just be like, bap, dead. Bap, dead. Yeah. That's like a tank. Well, yeah. And then, my last ability, which I showed at the beginning of the video, is Flying Serpent Kick. Um, it's just instant, and it has a 25 second cooldown. Uh, you soar through the air forwards. You, wow. My cool just made me talk. Not right at all, right now, I guess. Um, you soar through the air forwards at an increased speed. That's kind of weird. Weird. Um, while traveling, if you use it again, you land yourself and you deal 300 damage to all enemies within 8 yards and slowing them by 70% for 4 seconds. So that's kind of nice for PvP too, but here it goes. I didn't click it in time, but that's okay. So, so yeah, awesome. that's, uh, that's Windwalker in a nutshell. Okay, so for healing, there's... They covered a lot of stuff that I was going to cover, so. Uh, I'll go over the T's first. I have Cherry Manatee, which increases, restores 5% of your maximum mana. Uh, you, and it, all T's have to be channeled, so. Stop jumping around. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I always do that. Okay. Uh, you can stack up to 50 times, also. Uh, Jasmine Force T, which regenerates one Chi every two seconds for six seconds. Thunder Force T. Uh, which doubles the healing done by your next surge of mi surge mist surging mist Jesus 
or uplift within 10 seconds. And they already did Fortifying Brew. Oops. Uh, the heals, they went over Healing Sphere. Chi Wave, like you guys have probably seen that if you watched our other videos. Well, it, see, it damages and it heals people. Uh, Surging Mist heals the lowest health friendly target within 40 yards for 25.9k. Uh, if cast while channeling Soothing Mist, su Surging Mist will be instant cast and heal the other. <laughs> wow, I just. Oh, that was terrible. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but yeah, th that's basically what it does. Uh, renewing Mist. You surround the target with Healing Mist, restoring 1.4k. K health every 2.72 seconds for 16.33 seconds. I guess that's weird because my haste. Uh, and up to three friendly targets within eight yards of you. So Stop jumping. The... Sorry. Uh, it's so... Uh, if I can't do that, I get like... I can't like... Uh, sorry. Okay. And then we have... Just don't keep your... Don't put your fingers near it. Like those buttons at all. They're just keep... <laughs> well, that's like my Whoa. mouse button. Wow. But uh... What's this guy doing here? Shoot. And Soothing Mist uh, heals the target for 10k every se over 7.26 seconds. Uh, I'll shut it off now. They don't really have like that good of spell effects. This hey. one does, but like the heals, I mean, they have like misty auras around them, if you can see that. But there's not like anything like intense, like yeah. Uh, but also this one, oh, this one has a good a good spell effect. Chi Cocoon. Encase the target in a cocoon of chi energy, healing them for 6% of their health every one second, and causing them to be immune to all harmful damage and effects. While in the cocoon, the target moves at 50% reduced speed and is unable to attack or cast spells. So I'll use it on Bill. I think that looks pretty intense, honestly. Like, uh, If you do both of those in it, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> that looks really cool, yeah. Um... We have my statue, which just heals. I mean, you guys oh, like what? What's yours called? Uh, Serpent. Oh, Jade instead. Serpent. Yeah. I can't wait till they actually put like those in the game, like the actual like things, because those just all look like. That's gonna be mine. Like those statues. That's like. Yeah. The the uh, DPS um, model for it. Yeah. Uh, and we have D box, which is a, like a cleanse. Oh, you can use it on. The statues. That's okay. It has a cooldown. Well, well, some of them have an effect. I don't know if yours like, like I can taunt my statue, and it taunts everyone. Um, if you can detox your statue, maybe, and it has like an increased effect. It doesn't say that. I don't maybe. Know. Let me let me look. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't say that anywhere. But uh, no, okay. I don't know why, but oh wait, eliminates all. Yeah, like, I don't understand why the cleanse has a cooldown. Other people's cleanses don't, right? That's really odd. Eight second uh, cooldown, that seems yeah. like a bad thing. I don't know. They won't be main cleansers then. Well, it, but. it removes all harmful, though. Like, it, other ones, you have, to be like, you have to be like, cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. Yeah, cleanse. but I mean, I'm saying, like, you can only use it on one target, and then you can't use it on anybody else for eight seconds. It's kind of... Yeah, true. Uh, and then we have Uplift. Instantly refresh the duration of your renewing miss periodic effect on allies and heals them for 6.1k. So if I have that up, it'll refresh it. Uh, Tiger's Lust, I don't think. Did we go over Tiger's Lust and uh, Leg Sweep? Because those are talent ones. Uh, no. no. They don't really have spell effects, but it uh, instantly clears a target of all immobilizing and movement impairing effects and increases their movement speed by 70%. For Tiger's Lust and Leg Sweep, uh, you knock down all enemies within five yards uh, and stun them for six seconds. Which that's kind of OP. Wait, all enemies get a six-second stun when you use this. So like they're stunned for six seconds, or they can stun you for six seconds. Effectively yeah. stunning them for six seconds. Okay, yeah, okay, it's, yeah. It's, they get knocked wow. down, and it, it takes like six seconds from like recover back up, probably. Okay, and then, so Jump you guys it. all know how druids have, uh, tranquility, and it's pretty good in raids. Well, now, mon uh, monks? Yeah, monks. I was going to call them pandas. Uh, they have one, something like it, too. Instantly heals all friendly targets within vision for 33k and clears them of all harmful magic, poison, and bleed effects. 
So as you can wow. see. What's the cooldown on that? Uh, three minutes. I mean, it's a, it's a bit long, but I mean, in raids, that'll be amazing. Definitely. That'll be a nice, I mean, you pop tranquil Tranquility and pop that, and they're basically, everybody's at full health. Uh, but yeah, that is basically everything for healing. There's not that much. Uh, yeah, make sure there's nothing else. Yeah, that's it. Did we talk about, like, the rule? How you can only use it twice now? Or was that in other videos? Whoa, what's that thing? What? Did you see that, Grove? You had, like, yeah. a tiger spirit. I don't know that. I don't know which one that was though. Like I, I don't. It came out of yours. This one right here. Oh really? Yeah. We maybe we should look at that. Hang on. Let me. Well, while we, we look, uh... but yeah, they they redid the rule. They cost no energy now, but oh, you have oh two stacks God. of it. So down. You have two stacks of rule, and I have to, It takes twenty seconds to get a stack back, so you can like it stacks up to two times. Like I rule twice, yeah. not to wait. 40 seconds to get both stacks after like 20 seconds to get one more stack and it works so much better this way Oh, I didn't men okay, well, mention cool. the uh, the mastery which it just it, it basically gives you another chance to like heal when you heal It says it summons an orb or a sphere, but I, it's not like a visual thing at all. It just like does a heal uh, Okay, this tiger statue is amazing. I'm so glad I did that because I completely missed this when I was doing my stuff But it's a passive ability. Okay, so when you consume three chi, all right, when your statue's down, it will conjure a white tiger, which travels towards the last enemy you attack, dealing 702 damage. And if the tiger travels for five seconds, it becomes lusted, moving at a greater speed and dealing 100% increased damage. Oh, wow. That's pretty awesome, yeah. Oh, my God. It... Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Well, that's uh, the 85 Monk uh, discussion. We'll Once again, we'll do it again at 90 for every class, probably. We'll talk about what they get, the new skills and spells and stuff they get at 87 and probably 90. And so, can't wait to subscribe hey, to us. Hey, Tanner. What? Hey, Tanner. Hey, Tanner. Hey, Tanner. What? Look here. Look here. Look here. Look here. Suck my foot. Ah! <laughs> wow. Okay. But yeah, uh, subscribe. <laughs> leave us feedback. Comment us. Uh, you know, email us, you know, everything. Thank you. You know, for watching. you know, you know, you so, know, yeah. you know. <laughs> Later.